Lawrence Seymour, offensive lineman, Miami Central, big baby. Uh, we've known about Lawrence really almost going back to when he was in eighth grade, and uh, he has come to our camps and absolutely dominated everybody that he's put his hands on. Um, you know, he's got really, he's got just that dominating mentality. He wants to finish blocks. He wants to get after you. Um, and you see a lot of guys like this and, and that end up on their back. And he did the same thing in person with us, and which put on a show. And I, this goes back to when he was in ninth grade, when he was in 10th grade. Um, it's been fun to watch him develop. Um, over the years, that has done a great job playing on a great team for Roland Smith at Central, and we cannot wait to get him on our campus. Mike McLaughlin, offensive tackle from Stoneman Douglas. Length, long arms, long legs, long body, great feet, all the things that you think about when you talk about um, if you could draw up what an offensive tackle looks like, uh, and then a great, um, great demeanor about him on the field. A uh, very intelligent young man and a very hard worker. Uh, uh, a prospect who came to one of our camps uh, when he was really young and we have just seen him uh, develop and grow. We moved to South Florida, you know, in his high school career and, and uh, in his senior year he made a, a massive jump um, as we thought he would because we really thought he had something special in him and, and cannot wait to get him in our strength and conditioning program. Can't wait to get him around Coach Justice because he, he simply has things that you cannot coach and, and um, an exciting prospect for our offensive line. Ryan Rodriguez, offensive lineman from Miami Columbus High School. Really excited to have Ryan join our program. A, a, a great young man, uh, very tough, very smart, comes from a great family and obviously a great program in Columbus. So a guy that's got positional flexibility, can play multiple spots along the inside of your offensive line, uh, even potentially being a center. But does he like to finish blocks? Absolutely. Just watch him keep running his feet on contact and finish his man all the way to the ground. So, um, you know, just really, really good balance, good body control, good positioning right there and and loves to strike. And when you have those attributes uh, and you play for Garen Justice, yeah, you got a chance to be a really good player in college. Look, look at look at how this defensive line just gets blown off the football um, following Ryan's block and allows the running back to crease him down the middle. So those are the things you really like to see. And, uh, and as we continue to, to get our offense line the way we want it, uh, recruiting guys like Ryan and getting him into our program, into our strength and conditioning program is what we want. Here you see him playing center, uh, make calls, smart enough to identify fronts, and does a great job here in pass protection. So excited about Ryan becoming a Miami Hurricane. When you think about all the great Miami Hurricane defense of the past, you think about the disruptive defensive tackle. And Leonard Taylor's got a chance to be another one in the long line of great disruptive defensive tackles at the University of Miami. What he did this past year at Miami Palmetto was special. Um, on a very talented team, very well coached team, uh, LT took his game to a different level. He lives in the backfield, his ability to, to make tackle for losses, to make sacks, um, get his feet across the line of scrimmage, call disruption. Uh, he is almost an impossible uh, person to single block. I wouldn't recommend this play right here, which is to not block him at all. But again, you see the great get off, the great pad level, and his ability to finish in the backfield. Just a very special young man, uh, very special talent. Watch right here, he's able to shed the guard and then finish the play in the backfield. And that's what's made him so special. He's just got such great, um, um, a great motor and a great ability to make a play when he gets back there. The last name, Ishmael, has been a pillar of Miami Hurricane football. Victor Ishmael has been um, outstanding in our weight room for generations of Hurricane players to come through. And to have his son Jabari join our program is really neat to have an Ishmael in our weight room and also on the field. And Jabari has really developed into an outstanding player at Miami Columbus High School. Great length, uh, great ability to move and get after the quarterback. And again, you see right here just be able to just swallow him up with his length, relentless quarterback going back and forth across the field, and Jabari's able to put him on the ground. Um, a guy, you know, a, again, a great family. Jabari, we've been able to follow his progress for a long time, but you just see the type of length and hat speed uh, that our defensive end play here at Miami has become known for. And also with the versatility to get out in, into the flat and, and we can drop our defensive ends into coverage, make plays in space uh, when needed. Just a very, very versatile athlete, great young man. Um, really excited to get him on our campus. Really excited to have Alan Hay join our football team. Um, great part of our recruiting class from Hollywood Chaminade Madonna High School, which has been a great uh, 
pipeline to the University of Miami here over the past couple years. Allen, if you think about the 4-3 defense, it always starts with defensive tackle play. And Allen is another one in the line of disruptive defensive tackles. Let's take a peek. And again, the first thing you're going to see is, is great get off and then disruption runs through contact, get great hand placement on the inside, and then can finish a play in the backfield. Same thing you'll see right here, this time on a stunt, works outside, but has the ability to turn the corner and finish a play in the backfield. Again, if you want to be a, a tiger for loss, sack type operation football team like we do, you got to be able to finish, and Allen's got that great ability to be able to finish. And then you'll see the same thing right here, stunts inside, gets back there, throws a rip, okay, and then can turn the corner to put the quarterback on the ground. So again, a guy that's just very dynamic versus a run, but can still finish in the pass game right here and terrorize the quarterbacks like we love to do here at the University of Miami. Miami defensive ends, speed, quickness, explosion, great twitch. And all of those things sum up Thomas Davis. Um, a great prospect we're bringing in from the South part of Georgia. We think he's got a chance to make a real big impact in this time here at the University of Miami. And all you got to see is the get off. Watch the red arrow, and there's a guy shot out of a cannon back there at the quarterback. Um, really, really unique um, in his ability to, to get after the ball. Um, just his, his athletic uh, numbers are all off the charts. He stood up and played some linebacker uh, for his high school team this past year. Um, a great tackler. I, th I thought it was really good for him to, to stand up, and you could just see him chasing the ball, and teams couldn't run away from him. But, I mean, just toughness. Same thing right here. You can see him working in the box, finishes on the tackle. Um, really tough. Just wants to be great, wants to be pushed. Um, we cannot wait to get this guy on our campus. Even right here, instinctively on the screen, just watch him split and knock the heck out of the running back. He can really do a lot of things, but um, he's going to be a problem for offensive tackles in the future coming around that, that edge on pass rush. Thank you.